Hi guys, my name is Robert de Bock. I work for Advenis and today I'd like to show you how to install a Rancher cluster. Uh, I've pre-configured a few things, uh, the web interface up and running in a Docker container. I've added some cloud credentials and a few host templates. So it should be ready to go. Let's add a cluster on DigitalOcean in this case, but as you can see, there were many. Call it my cluster or so. And there's a few functions uh, in this cluster, etcd, control plane and workers. Let's first make etcd, uh, this one and not a worker. It needs one, three or five. Let's pick three. And etcd is not too heavy for in resources, so we can use a small one. Let's add another function called control plane. Uh, let's add one, that's the minimum. And as you can see, I spread the functions over different machines. I don't want to mix that. And the workers, that's where the actual uh, workload lands on, can be one or more. One is a bit silly, it's a bit small. I guess two is a bare minimum, maybe three or a hundred if you'd like to. And this one can grow a bit in size. So medium or very big is smarter. Each uh, node loses a bit of overhead. So the bigger this is in terms of memory, the less you lose basically. Now you can configure all kinds of things. Um, let's just keep everything default and create. This will take a while, say 10, 15 minutes. So I'll see you in a bit. So we now have my cluster and it's ready. It's all green and active. So that means we can start to install Vault. Uh, let's go to this cluster. Here it is. Perfect. And explore. Do the cluster explorer. You get to see the status of your Kubernetes cluster. In this case, we're going to add a Helm repository and install Vault. And for that, I'm going to basically follow the documentation. The documentation of uh, HashiCorp products is really good. So I really strongly suggest you have a good look. Uh, it just helps, it's easy to play with. So now we have a repository and we can install Vault. We did not any, add any persistent storage to this cluster, so we're gonna start it in dev mode, which is not production ready, but it's good for demos like these or so. Let's copy this. Here we go. So we should now start to get Cube, CTL, get pods, get vault. See, it's not ready yet. It takes a moment to start up and it's ready. That means we can start to use it. So now that vault is up and running, we can basically start to use it. Log in with root. That's the, uh, the token for a dev environment. Once again, that's not production ready, but good for this kind of uh, demos. And you can see here the web interface, Vault does have a web interface. It has a CLI as well, which you can also access here. Uh, plus uh, it has an API, of course. And that's the strong point about these two uh, products. Both Rancher and Vault have a very good and mature API. So automation of these products is doable. It's quite easy actually. So I hope that shows you a bit how easy it is to install Vault in a production environment. It is a bit more difficult, of course, but uh, it's not rocket science, basically. So see you soon.